Professor Hiroyuki Ozaki of Keio University has studied risk and uncertainty and is currently leading this research field. As a background to this research area, in 1921, Frank Knight distinguished two types of uncertainty. My research topic is nation uncertainty, and here Knight is the name of a very famous economist who wrote a book about uncertainty. He distinguished two types of uncertainty. First type of uncertainty is uncertainty where uh, the situation is summarized by the unique probability distribution. So people know that the probability correctly. And second situation where uncertainty happens is that people are very unsure about real world, so people don't even probability itself. So these two situations are quite different. And Knight distinguished these two types of uncertainty and emphasized that the distinction is important. But Savage, Leonid Savage, uh, developed some theory there people behaves as if people know the single probability distribution. And by using probability, people decide uh, people will make decisions. And by Savage theory, uh, the distinction made by Knight is not important because we can assume that people have a single probability, single distribution. But in 1961, Ellsberg criticized Savage's theory by conducting a well-known experiment known as Ellsberg's Paradox. He considered the following situation. There is an urn, and inside of the urn, there are 30 red balls, and there are also blue balls and black balls. But we don't know each exact number of blue balls and black balls. Total ball is 90, and out of 90, 30 is red, the rest is blue or black. The ratio is unknown. And then consider the following alternatives. There are four alternatives. First alternative is named F1, and F1 says if you pick up the ball without looking inside, and if you pick up red ball, then you will get 1,000 bucks. Otherwise, you get, you get nothing. And F2 says you can get 1,000 bucks if you pick a blue ball. Otherwise, you get, you, you get nothing. And similarly, F3 and F4. And Ellsberg asked people which between F1 and F2 is better for them. And second question is F3, F4. Which do you prefer between F3 and F4? First, let's consider the first choice uh, between F1 and F2. And suppose you choose F1 over F2, then that means you think that the number blue ball is less than 30. Let's call this number, say, alpha. So alpha is less than 30 because you choose F1 over F2. Then let's go move to the second choice between F3 and F4. And the number, a sum of uh, the red balls and black ball is 30 plus 60 minus alpha. That is uh, 90 minus alpha, but alpha is now less than 30. Therefore, the sum of red balls and black balls in F3 is more than 60. And for F4, the sum of blue balls and black balls are just 60. Therefore, you must choose F3 over F4 because you have chosen F1 over F2 in the first choice. So your solution is F1 over F2 and F3 over F4. However, most people uh, under this experiment show that they choose F1 over F2 and F4 over F3. Therefore, their choice pattern contradicts the prediction from Savage theory that employ unique probability distribution. Nevertheless, although Erzberg pointed out the distinction made by Frank Knight is, is very, very important. But Savage's tradition by assuming single probability distribution has uh, continued. For more than 20 years, Ellsberg's results has been almost ignored. Around 20 years later, during the early 1980s, Gilboa and Schmiedler promulgated a new theory that very much improved on Savage's work. They did not assume the existence of a single probability distribution and succeeded in explaining Ellsberg's paradox. 
Girbash Maidur assumes that people do not have any single probability which explain everything. So Girbash Maidur's model can uh, replace Savage's model by assuming multiple probability rather than single unique probability distribution. Nishimura and Ozaki applied their theory to explain certain empirical economic phenomena. In 2004, they showed that the rate at which people are leaving their jobs decreases as the real data show when nighty and uncertainty increases, although it is theoretically well known that in a traditional risk sense, the rate must counterintuitively increase when uncertainty increases. For example, people's rate of leaving their jobs is decreasing over these days. That is, people uh, stick to their job instead of uh, quitting their job. And in traditional economic theory, assuming the unique probability distribution, if uncertainty increased, then the theory says people are easy to leave their job. So this is contradicting to uh, real data. But if we employ uh, Gilbash murder theory to explain this kind of situation, then we can show that if the uncertainty increased in the sense of night, then people's rate of leaving their job is certainly decreasing. Therefore, our result, theoretical result, is explaining the layer data very uh, nicely. Nishimura and Ozaki also revealed a drastic difference with respect to the implications of learning. People actually learn if they know the probability in the beginning. This is a popular story. However, if people start learning without knowing the exact probability distribution, through learning, they will know even less about the truth. And second uh, interesting uh, research results by Nishimura and Ozaki is that if people start learning, then people may go to the truth or not. If people know the true probability uniquely, then traditional theory says uh, if people learn more and more, then they reach as close as possible to the, 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 true, the truth of the world. But if people are uncertain in the sense of the night, and if people learn more and more, then they may get more uh, upset or people may get more uncertain about the true world. That's because of the uh, non-uniqueness of the true probability. So this is very interesting result. And these results, including others, will be summarized by one whole book and will be published by uh, some uh, publishing company uh, in the near future. Uh, it's a Nishimura Ozaki's book titled, entitled Economics of uh, Pessimism and Optimism. And this is about uh, national uncertainty, and it should be interesting, and you should buy it.